Hi guys, welcome to Simple Programming. In this video, let us take a look at how to use a transformer from the spring integration components. Say, you have an application that accepts and processes data in JSON format, and you are connected to some external system that can process only XML. Now, you have to go through the pain of converting your Java object into XML before sending the request to that external legacy system. Well, spring integration gives you a transformer to make your job easy. A transformer converts the payload or structure to another form like for example XML payload to JSON or JSON payload to an XML. There are multiple inbuilt transformers which you can make use of. For example there is an XML to object transformer but there is an object to XML. You can convert from object to string. You can even convert a file to string. You can deserialize an object. You can serialize an object. You can convert an object to map or even convert an object to JSON. Let's take a look at one of the simple example to understand how a transformer works. In our previous example, we looked at how messaging gateway and service actuator works in Spring Integration Project. In this example, we are going to look at how transformer works. So for this, let us quickly go into our configuration file. And in our configuration file, I have few configurations in it. One is object to JSON transformer. That is when an input channel comes to integration.student.gateway.channel, it is going to convert the object into a JSON format and send it to an output channel. The object to JSON formatter is going to use an object mapper which is Jackson to JSON object mapper and it is going to convert the actual object. In this case, the example is going to have a student object. This student object will be converted to a JSON with the help of this Jackson to JSON object mapper. Then it outputs the result to an output channel which is integration.student.object to JSON.channel. And let us take a look at what this channel is about. For this example, I created a student service which is going to be a component class and it's going to have a couple of service actuator methods. So you can have multiple service actuators in your project and you can have multiple mappings to this. So this example, I'm going to get the output of our object to JSON channel. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to simply print it out. Then once printed, then I'm going to send the same message to an another queue that is integration.student.json to object. That is the converted JSON object is again converted to the actual student object. Let's take a look at our configuration. For this, what I'm going to use is, I'm going to use the JSON to object transformer. And I'm just going to pass in the student.class in it. So that it will automatically convert the JSON string into a student object. Once converted, it will be outputted to an another output channel. And I'm going to catch that output channel using my service activator to this process JSON to object method. Inside process to JSON object method, I'm going to get the reply channel and then reply back this object as a string to my controller. Let's quickly take a look at our controller. The controller is quite simple. Uh, I have a post mapping which is going to accept the student object and then it's going to process the student uh, details. The input is going to be student and let us take a look at our integration gateway. Like I said in my previous example, right? You can have multiple gateway inside a messaging gateway. So I have created one more gateway here, which is going to be a process student details uh, gateway. And it's going to, the request channel for this is going to be integration.student.gateway.channel. It's going to accept a student object and return a string. So in this case, right, let us, so the string is nothing but the student dot to string so the student object before i run the example i'll quickly show you the student object the student object is going to have a id name and school and i have overridden the to string uh, method in it so quite simple example let's quickly run this and let us try to see what is the output that we get I'm going to clear the console so that you will be able to see the you know printed information in a clear manner. Let me go to the postman and let me try to fire a request in it. So it's going to be a post mapping. 
when I click on send, I've got a string here, student ID name, John, and school as high school. Let's quickly take a look at our console. In our console, we have a generic message. So what happens is like, when the request comes in, it goes to the object to JSON transformer. It, the object is transformed into a JSON string, and then it comes to the, uh, the receive message service activator. Once it comes to the receive message service activator, I'm printing the entire message. So the entire message is a generic message with the payload and headers in it. You can see the replay channel here, and you'll see the timestamp and then uh, error channel in this, along with an ID. So these are the you know content that is available in the generic message. Then I'm going to print the payload of the message. When I print the payload of the message, you could see here it has converted into a JSON string. And then what happens is like I'm sending this message again to an another channel that is going to convert this JSON string into an actual student object. Once converted, it is then caught by the process JSON to object service activator. And when it comes to the service activator, I'm printing this or actual object of the student and then returning it as student dot to string a very simple example to demonstrate how this transformer works in string integration thanks for watching guys and please subscribe for more such videos